The probability, ladies and gentlemen, that I select, when I select eight students, the probability that none of those eight are left-handed, none, is 0 0.430. Note, note, question four. Let's note, let's ask, question four. What is question four? What's the probability what? At least one, Adriana? Probability at least one is what? Left-handed. Can you tell me what that is? For a drink of my coffee. <laughs> ah, what's the pro that's the outcome. What's the probability, though? If you want to tell me the probability, you should spit it out by now. If you see P of 0, I'll automatically think I know probability of at least 1. What is it? Point, point what? Point 0.57. Why is it point 0.57? Ah, what's the probability of at least 1? The probability of at least 1 is 1 minus the probability of what? None. 1 minus point four what? 3, which is point what? 5, 7. So if you get this answer, question 1, ladies and gentlemen, you got question 4 free of charge. You just have to take the compliment. Subtract it from 1. And you could do that all day long. So what do you think people are usually going to ask you? At least one. Because you can't just throw fastballs all the time. You've got to throw a few curves. You've got to check to see if people know what they're doing. You guys see what I'm saying? OK, you guys OK with that? At least one? What's, the, what's question two? What's the probability that you are that one person's left-handed? Question two, P of x is ncx, p to the x, 1 minus p to the n minus x. In, in this problem again, this time x is 1, 1, 1, 1, n is still what? 8, 8, p, the probability of success, is still 0.10. P of 1 is going to be 8, C1, 0 0.10 to the 1, 0 0.90 to the, what's 8 minus 1? To the 7, good. OK? You guys OK with that? OK? So P of 1, let's simplify what everything is. What's 8 C1? 8 times 0.1 to the first times 0 0.90 to the 7th power. Ladies and gentlemen, what happened before was I had the same base, different powers probably. I kept the base and I added the powers. I had two exponentials. These, we have exponentials still here, but they're not the same base. Meaning, you have to use order of operation. OK? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Powers before multiplication. The good news is, some of your calculators know how to do this. If you got the calculator I asked you guys to get, you're enjoying what? Life. Because <laughs> what do you do? You just go, OK. All right, 8 times 0.1 to the first times 0.9 raised to the what? Seventh power. Where's our power key? It's that caret. See this? Then I hit equal. And you guys know what? You even see the first line, 8 times 0.1 to the first power times 0.9 to the seventh power. Ah, what do I get the answer? 0.38263752. I approximate this to the nearest thousandths. The answer is 0.38 what? See this? 
The answer is 0.383. What do you get? P of 1 is approximately 0.3813. So I want to show you this, what happens with those events being not equally likely. Anybody have any questions on this here? You sure? You, you sure? You OK? Any questions on that? No? What's the hard part? Everything. Yes? Ah, oh, good question. How do we know it's first point one zero and the next one's point nine? You guys want what's the answer to that question? How do we know that this first probability is point one and this is point nine? Few reasons. First, you know that this first probability P is point one because the definition is the probability of a success for a single trial. Now, you know what a success is, always. What is it? A success is what's written in your what? Question. You see what I'm saying? That's why I underlined it in green. This is your success. So, the probability of being left-handed, Adriana, is what? 0.10. So that's P. If the question was, what's the probability of being right-handed? P is now what value? 0.9. See what I'm saying? So it li the answer lies in how you define the success, because the definition of P is a probability of a single success. The other value is the complement. That's it. So that's why I'm making such a big deal of this. Look at this one here. What was the success over here? What was this success? The success is being a what? Girl, 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 girl. The probability of a success here for this example was, what's P here? One half. In fact, Let's see, number three. What does three say? Two are left-handed. P of two, write down your formula. I would do, every time I use the binomial, I write it down. NCX, P to the X, one minus P to the N minus X. Okay, what's N? N is what again? It's eight. What is x in problem 3? 2. And what is p? 0.1. p of 2 is 8c2, 0 0.10 squared, 0 0.90 to the, what's 8 minus 2? 6 power. You want to know it's beautiful again? If you got that calculator I said to get, some of your calculators, you just plug all of this stuff in there. All of it. Right? So if I just go, okay, 8C2. 8 